some basic stuff. Let's just start with an initial velocity vector, which is going to be 35 meters per second at an angle of 25 degrees above the horizontal. Our velocity initial at our angle theta. And we're going to break that initial velocity vector into its components, velocity initial in the x direction, velocity initial in the y direction. Please, Christina, help me break the initial velocity into its components. Um, well, we do sine theta plus Therefore, the velocity initial in the y direction equals the velocity initial multiplied by the sine of theta. Great. So it is 35 times the sine of 25 degrees. What then is the velocity initial in the y direction, please? Seven, nine. Clearly, we only had two sig figs in the beginning here, so it should be, if we were to give it as an answer, 15 meters per second. And how would we figure out the initial velocity in the x direction, Anna? Um, you do equal sine theta, which is equal to um, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to velocity initial in the x direction over velocity initial. Good. Therefore, we get that the velocity initial in the x direction is equal to the velocity initial multiplied by the cosine of theta, or 35 times cosine of 25 degrees. 31.72? So 32 meters per second. Great. Breaking the initial velocity into a, its components. So what are the components of a vector? Mr. Lowe. As an example, we have the velocity initial x, velocity initial y are the components of the initial velocity vector here. And your question was what? What are the components of a vector? Uh, the components of the x and like in the x and y direction. Yeah, but what does that mean? Uh, like the basic breaking it down to its components. Yeah, well, but that's the, that's the important piece. I want to make sure you understand what it means to be the components of a vector. I, I understand you have some basic concept, but I want to make sure we have a specific here. Con. Um, well, I'm not sure, but is it like when you split out the vector into unit vectors and put it We haven't done unit vectors yet, but we will in a moment. But yes. Uh, sure. Um, are you asking for magnitude and direction? No, that would be simply, this would be the magnitude and the direction. So velocity initial x and velocity initial y are the components of the initial velocity vector. And my question is, what does that mean? Did they add up to the initial velocity vector? If you add velocity initial in the x direction plus the velocity initial in the y direction, they add up to the initial velocity. That's what it means to be the components of the vector and the components in the x and the y direction. And if you add them together, they add up to the original. Great. So this is one way to illustrate the velocity vector, 35 meters per second at an angle of 25 degrees. And we're going to break these things into components many, many times. Uh, at this point, I would say that you should be able to start here. I will allow that at this point, because we are going to do this so often. You could simply start with, for example, the velocity initial in the x direction equals velocity initial times the sine, or times the cosine of theta. At this point, you should be able to look at that and identify where you can start right here or right there. Now, another way that we can draw out this initial velocity vector is to say this initial velocity vector is equal to 32i plus 15j meters per second using i and j. i and j, Maria, are? Um, I'm sorry, Mari. I have a Maria now in another class. It's going to be very confusing for me. I'm sorry. I and J are? 
unit vectors. What does it mean to be a unit vector, Bob? Uh, it's a vector in the x or y direction. True, but a specific vector in the x slash y direction, boy. It's a uh, value or range is one. It's that's what it means to be a unit vector. So the i is a unit vector with is a vector with a value of one in the x direction. The j will be in the y direction. We can also have the unit vector k, which would be in the z direction. So it is a vector in the x slash y slash z direction, and it has a magnitude of 1. So you can see the components of vector i are composed of the unit vectors, 32i and 15j. If we were to add those together, we would get the vector 35 meters per second at an angle of 25 degrees above the horizontal. They mean the same thing. This statement and this statement. They're just drawn out differently. 